Hey out there, Slot Car Land, how you doing today? So here is your second video in our new series on identifying your chassis. And today we are looking at Tyco. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine chassis here, um, all Tyco. I am missing, I am missing a couple that are. Um, I'm missing the very first car. Actually, probably the first two cars. I'm missing the Tyco S chassis. I don't have one of those. They're very expensive, very hard to come by. And I do not have the first gen Tyco Pro. But I have everything after that. So, let's get the camera down and we'll take a look at these cars and we'll talk about them. Alright, so. These are your Tycos. We're going to start with your Tyco Pro. Now, this is what is referred to as a Tyco Pro 2 car. Um, they're, they're very similar. The only difference between this car and the first iteration of the Tyco Pro is your, your guide pin assembly is slightly different and it has wipers. So it has a metal piece that curves from the top down that picks up the electricity off the racetrack rather than the buttons with, with the um, springs on them. So that's the only difference. All your chassis look the same. All your running gear look the same as this car right here. So... There's your top of your Tyco Pro. There's the bottom of your Tyco Pro 2. Also, the early Tyco Pros had a black. They were still metal, but they were painted black um, pan chassis on them. So that's, your, that's how you can tell whether you have an early um, Tyco Pro chassis. So next up, we have your venerable HP2. Now, there's at least four different HP2 chassis. Just to let you guys know, a Curve Hugger and an HP2 are the exact same thing. There is no difference. It is still an HP2 car. I know there's a lot of people out there that say the Curve Hugger is a different car. No, it's not. It's still an HP2. This right here is, I believe, the very first iteration of the HP2. This is what was referred to as the Curve Hugger. As you can see, it's got these double flanged metal pieces on the bottom of the chassis what it does is you can see it comes up to the side of the the can motor here and what it's doing is it's bringing the magnetism from the can motor down to the bottom of the racetrack to grip the rails on the racetrack so this right here is your second iteration of the hp2 still a black chassis but now there's only one metal piece there to, to pick up, to bring the magnetism down to the racetrack rather than the two. Then, there, it, then they switch to a gray chassis. Same design, just gray. This is, um, as you can see, here's, here's one of the gray ones. With the closed piece, this is towards the end of the HP2 run with the gray chassis where it had an open area back here where your rear gear was, where your drive gear is at. Same pinion, same can motors, same pickup, uh, same pickup shoe plate, the whole nine yards, same guide pin, just a slightly different chassis. Then there is the last iteration of the HP2, which is this one right here that actually has that has done away with the metal and has actually gone to a traction magnet in the back. Now these were ma originally made for Tyco's flex track, and they were made for some of the off-road sets. That's why you'll find a lot of them with uh, with Jeep bodies and truck bodies, pickup truck bodies and whatnot. Because they were more for the, the flex track. But this is the last iteration of the HP2. S next up, we have the next iteration, the HP7. Um, you got to be real careful with these cars. They are very fragile. They will break very easy, particularly back here. Off of the off of the the the, the traction magnet where the, the tires clip in is very fragile. They'll also break right here next to the can motor. They'll also break up here towards the front um, uh, front of the can motor as well. So they weren't a very well designed chassis. They are kind of flimsy. They are getting kind of old. 
so they do have a, a tendency to break. Uh, there is no pickup shoe spring on this car. It is a uh, spring tension piece. The shoe clips into the chassis and the front, and then this little metal spring right here is what keeps your pickup shoe um, your pickup shoe on the racetrack. So that's your HP7. There's the top. There's the bottom. Next up, we have the venerable Mag, uh, Magnum 440 chassis. So this is towards, this This is actually does say Mattel on it. So this is after the purchase of uh, Tyco and, Mag, and uh, Matchbox by Mattel. They did produce the Magnum 440 car. And how you tell that this is a 440 car is by the traction magnet. It goes all the way across the chassis. It's a one complete bar all the way across. It's not a two piece, two, two separate magnets. It's one magnet. Tyco did make this car. Tyco also made the 440X2 chassis, and then the, uh, Tyco, uh, Mattel also produced both of them. So that is your Magnum 440 car. And then we've got your 44X2. Basically the same design. Your your narrow chassis looks exactly the same, other than other than the way the motor is held in. These have molded in, uh, the bulkheads are the same, except for your motor magnet is different. This has two separate magnets for your traction magnets, rather than the one bar magnet all the way across. So there's your top and your bottom, and then of course you've got your wide pan chassis, which is for your bigger bodies, which is basically the exact same design, it's just got these, these extended, uh, the extended plastic pieces here and then the body clip is slightly different so those are all your Tycos all the way from your Tyco Pro all the way up to your 44 X2 chassis so I hope this video helps you guys identify what Tyco cars you have I'm sorry I do not have a, uh, a Tyco uh, Tyco S chassis or a the first Tyco Pro I am working on getting those um, I'd like to have those to add to the collection too so I have at least one representation of every chassis so I can help help you guys identify your cars a little better. So I hope this helps you guys out. Don't forget to check out the Aurora one that was up before this so it help identify your Aurora cars. Next up will be your Amrec Rocor Lifelike chassis. So uh, be on the lookout for that video as well and uh, we'll catch you guys later. I'm out. Bye.